Mr. Spartans, it's me, Mrs. Marr, and I'm here with Officer Gentry. Good morning. A face you probably recognize around the halls. Today we're going to find out a little bit more about Officer Gentry and his life outside of Sager Middle School. And we're going to also talk to him about a few things that are happening around here at Sager. How are you today? I am good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So before Sager, where did you used to work? Where have you been a police officer? Before Sager, I started my career at St. Charles County Parks. And from there, I went to Warren County Sheriff's Department. I worked there for a few years. And then I moved to the University of Missouri St. Louis and uh, worked there many years. And I did about a year at Normandy, right next to University of Missouri St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And then I got a job here at Cottleville. And I've been here for a little over three years. Well, we're really happy to have you here at Sager. So, and it's awesome to have someone with that much experience here. Thanks. What's the best thing about your job? The best thing about my job right now, because it's a different job compared to what I normally do on the streets, I enjoy teaching D.A.R.E. to the kids and just interacting with them. Me too. I mean, different. I'm a teacher, obviously, but yeah, it's yes. the kids. They make the job. So we know what you do here at Sager. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I enjoy riding my Harley Davidson motorcycle. Awesome. That's what I do the most now that it's become winter time. I have to find another avenue to <laughs> occupy my time. So I'll probably be going to work out at the gym or something with my family. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it's too cold in the winter for your too motorcycle cold for sure. Ride. <laughs> so in school, you were a student, obviously. What was your favorite subject in school? It was a long time ago, but my favorite subject was phys ed. Which oh, okay. Now there's different parts of that. Phys ed could be either PE or another. Health, health. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed the physical aspects of running around, playing, wrestling, doing stuff like that. Are you a sports guy? Are you a sports fan? I am a sports fan, but my sport, my main sport is mixed martial arts. Oh, I interesting. I like watching the UFC. Wow. That's actually, that is actually very interesting because we're going to talk a little bit more about that kind of stuff later in our interview. Okay. So, I have a dog. His name's Walter. I love him. Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets. Okay. Um, I've always been too busy with work or traveling you don't have on a motorcycle. Sorry about that. That's okay. And uh, so I've never had the time to actually take care of a pet. Okay. All right. You're missing out, but I that's know. just my opinion. I would love to, one of these days, get a dog. Um, I've already got a German Shepherd breed in mind, but yeah. until then... I'm just waiting. German Shepherds are the the breed of the police dogs, right? A lot of them are, yes. They're they're from Germany or other uh, Austrian uh, Shepherds, so they're the best at defense dogs and at drug sniffing, so one of these days I will get one of them. It sounds like it'd be a good match for you. So, okay, so say a student's having a hard time during the day and they need to find you, where, where would they find you? Um, most of the time in between classes you'll find me in the hallway walking around uh, or sometimes while my students are in class I walk by just to keep an eye on everything make sure the doors are locked and you know everything is safe around here uh, if you ever need to talk to me though my office is right next to the main office and the principal so you can come in there uh, we also have care and concern boxes you can drop a note in there for me or guidance counselors and I'll make sure they get them or you can go online and we have a care and concern online. Awesome. That's wow. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So um, now that we know a little bit more about you, I want to talk about something that is happening here at school and that is a problem <coughs> with physical aggression. Yes, ma'am. Um, so um, that seems like a pretty serious problem is when somebody says physical aggression, do they mean like fist fights and slamming kids up no, against the wall? It or? can be fist fights, but uh, I know there's a game that goes around called necking, oh. where you go by and slap somebody on the back of their neck. So, and then there's just physical altercations of bumping into each other, giving them the shoulder and stuff like that. Any unwanted touching. So don't a lot of kids do that stuff just joking though? Yes, it could be joking, but somebody could be having a bad day and you go and play a joke on them, like the necking thing, and, and they take it more offensively than they would any other time. They may be friends even, mm -hmm. and they get into a scuffle or a fight because of a joking around nature. Well, that makes sense then. So even if, you don't, even if you're not trying to start a fight, you could accidentally start a fight by... Just, just... kidding around and joking. Interesting. Okay, so... Um, 
what's the consequences? What happens to a student who gets in a fight at school? Uh, it depends on the severity. Usually, I, the principals and I will talk about it, and they usually keep it at school, mm -hmm. and they get disciplined through the school system, detention, in-school suspension, out-of-school suspension. But if it's severe enough, they could go with me to juvenile detention center. Wow. And if you do it a lot of times, like if you start getting a lot of detentions for the, the quote unquote little ones or the joking ones, what happens then? Well, the little ones can turn into big ones. So if they do it enough times or many times that, you know, it's time for me to step in and show them the other side of the consequences of their mm -hmm. actions, they could go to the juvenile detention center. Wow, okay. Well, um, certainly there's ways students can avoid a physical altercation. You know, you said earlier that, you know, maybe somebody's just one person's joking around and the other person's having a really bad day. What if the person having a really bad day feels tempted to fight? What should they do to keep themselves from starting a fight or from getting in trouble? My suggestion is they tell the person to stop and then they walk away. And then they go find a trusted adult. Myself, you as a teacher, mm -hmm. guidance counselor, principal, and let them know the situation. Okay. If it continues, then it's more than you know, just bullying. It can right. be turned into a harassment case. Mm -hmm. And again, it could go from consequences inside the school to consequences with me outside of school involving the, the legal system. Okay, yeah, that is good advice. Just walk away, huh? Just walk away and tell a trusted adult. Okay. Um, most of my dear students that watch this will know same thing with dare. If you're getting tempted with something that's not good for you, mm -hmm. stop and walk away. Great advice, great life advice, thank yes, you. You're very welcome. Well, this has been a wonderful interview. I'm so glad I got a chance to sit and speak with you. So folks, thanks for tuning in today. Remember, if you need Officer Gentry for anything, you can just drop a note in the Care and Concern box or stop by his office or find him in the hallways. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Have a good weekend. You too. Hi, guys.